Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Fish and Hex. Today, I wanna to give you an update on the new fish in the quarantine system. Uh, right hand side, try to get video as I, while I can because he's been hiding in his PVC, is a uh, sailfin tang. Uh, he's a little different version than the original sailfin that I had, but he looks pretty cool. Um, he's about three and a half inches, four inches roughly. Um, and he, sh he did pretty well during shipping. He just ate mysa shrimp. I have a piece of uh, nori up here he's been chewing on. But uh, he did really well so far, and um, I really hope that everything goes well during the quarantine period. Because um, these type of fish, you know, uh, have a special place in my heart, you know, the way uh, you know, Zay Zay was, the other sailfin. So I, I really hope this guy makes it. Um, down over here, the middle section, I have uh, the two green chromas. Yesterday I transferred over the uh, velvet damsel. He actually was dead this morning for whatever reason. So uh, because I don't know what that reason is, I'm actually going to start their quarantine period over. So uh, I did put them in on 722, but we're going to start that over uh, just so I can monitor them a little bit longer to see if there's any issues. So uh, over here on the left-hand side, I have a clown tank. It's about four inches or so, and I don't think he's going to come out. Hopefully he does. He's a very pretty fish. Maybe. Oh, okay. Is that how it is? So I'm going to get on this side of it, and you're going to go out the other side. Anyways, um... He's pretty cool. I've never had a clown tank before. Um, uh, Kingpin Corals has a few of them in his system, and I just kind of fell in love with them while I was over there. So, uh, of course, I had to get one. Oh, there he is. Uh, he's great. Uh, he is so pretty. Um, he does get a foot long. Um, so, I'm, you know, he's small right now. Like I say, he's three or four inches, uh, three and a half, four inches. So, he's got a while before he outgrows my tank. But uh, he's definitely the type of fish that requires a big 250, 300 gallon tank. And, uh, you know, within the next year, I mean, I have another year left on the current 125, so he'll be in a 300 uh, in the next year, uh, year and a half. So um, that was something that I would not get this fish unless I knew I was going to have a tank that was upwards of 300 gallons, just because they do get a foot long, just like the uh, blue uh, blue tank gets a foot long. So you just kind of got to be aware of that uh, when these fish have the potential of getting really big. Um, but uh, he's going to be doing great in the 125 for now. Um, as for tangs, the, what I got left, what I want to get, um, my plan is to get a yellow eye tang, a yellow tang, and a naso tang. And that's pretty much going to wa uh, wind off or finish off the uh, my list of tangs that I want to have until the system is much, much bigger. But I'm a, I'm a tang guy. I know everybody has their preference on the type of fish they like, and uh, mine is just tangs. So either way, guys, um, I'll keep you updated on these fish. Uh, wish me luck. Hope everything goes well. And... Um, and soon, hopefully in four weeks, these guys will be in the big tank. Either way, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, let me know.